Welcome to CS DNA. In this video, we are about to learn a technique of the tools that is the GFT data flow diagram. As we know that the developers and the designer of the software uses a lot of designing and analysis tools to convert all these designing and analysis activities to transform the requirement into the specific GFT. And the GFT is the one of them. The data flow diagram is nothing but it is a graphical representation of flow of data in an in information system. When we trying to develop any software, then we have to face a lot of difficult situations where we have to make uh, decisions and by using lots of tools and the requirements that uh, helps to develop a better and the easiest software development. So let's start data flow diagram. Data flow flow diagram is a technique a graphical representation of flow of data. It represents that how data is actually flow in the system. It is capable of depicting what is the source of the data. data or it means where the data comes from and what is the destination and where data goes. That is the ongoing data and the incoming data. And by performing all the operations where data is stored. So DFT is used to depict the incoming data flow ongoing data flow and the storage of the data flow. The DFT diagrams is used to construct in a way that uses the multiple bubbles. That's why the DFT is also called the bubble chart. And uh, there is a prominent difference between the DFT and the flow chart. Some, sometimes we see that the, here is the some symbols that is looks much sim similar like flow, flow chart, but it totally different from the flow chart. Because flow, flow charts is used to depict the flow of control in the different modules when we are about to design the algorithm. But the DFD used to depict the flow of data in the system at the very various levels from one module to another module. And DFD does not contain any control or branch element. So know that the DFD is used by the software developers and the designers to facilitate all the tools that represent the flow of data in the information system. And the DFD type. DFD is basically categorized into two types. First one is the logical DFD and the second one is the physical DFD. The logical DFD is totally concentrated on the system process and data flow of the system. It is the what kind of operations are performed in the system and where data is flow from one devices to another. That could be any banking software that in, in that software the data moves from one system to another. That could be one account to another account. And the second one is the physical DFD. The physical DFD shows how data is flow. Flow is implemented in the system. It means it actually defines that, uh, as we know that the lo logical DFD determines the flow in the system. But the physical level DFD, physical DFD defines how data flow is actually implemented in the system, and it is more specific and close to the implementation. In the DFD component, some predefined and the spe special tools and components that used to determine and construct any DFD that are the first one is the rectangle that represents the entity that could be source or the destination. Source is the incoming data sources and the destination is outgoing data sources. So where two data come from and where data is going. And the second one is the circle. Second component is the circle that represents the process in the system that shows how what kind of process lies and it is represented by the bubble circle and third one is the rectangle that is the one sided facing or open rectangle as you to determine the data storage zone during the processing of during the flow of data the 
created a source from where this story is represented by open side or the one side facing back and the last component is the head pointed at that represents the movement of the from one module to another these modules modules are basically the entities that are to the description of the information system and the labels of the dfc the dfc labels are categorized into three parts first one is the level 0 second one is the level 1 and last one is the level 2 in level 0 it determines all the information system into only one diagram it also known as the context level dfd it represents the highest abstraction level of data flow diagram and the level 1 level 1 is the broken the level 0 modules into the sub modules that are capable of depicting the basic module and the data modules in the very various modules and when we depicts all these parts this module this level is created and it is, it is the more expanded form of the level 0 and the last one is the level 2 level 2 is capable to depict the how data flow is actually formed inside the module one that already mentioned in the module one. so we say that level 2 is used to to how data flow is actually implemented in in the module one and it describes more detailed look at the processes that make up an information system that the level one we say that the level one level zero is a more abstract form and the level one is the some expanded form level two is a more expanded form of the level one or the level zero and so on